My name is Corey Jackson. I'm the RBC Senior Curator and I oversee the RBC Art Collection, which means I have the privilege of taking care of over 5,000 pieces in our offices globally, bringing emerging Canadian artists into our RBC spaces. I think that there's a lot of work right now that looks at possible futures, ways of imagining how we could operate in those futurities and it's the artist's role to kind of push and experiment and challenge our experience of what we might assume as a status quo. I'm Angela Palmer, I'm a sculptor and an installation artist and at the core of my work is really mapping. I'm interested in what lies hidden below, sort of peeling back the layers to expose what lies beneath. Um, and I've used scanning techniques, medical scanning techniques, to create different representations, new representations of the human body and also the um, animal form. I think art can help us look afresh at the world and I think it can challenge our preconceptions and perhaps help us to be more open-minded. My name is Patrick Hurst. I am a British sculptor based in Rome. Uh, I produce steel and stainless steel or metal sculptures. Additive manufacture is it's a very exciting thing because it's, it's almost democratised this digital way of working. Now, now someone, in their, someone in their bedroom, they can have, if they've got a laptop and they've got a 3D printer, you can, you can get all of that for a relatively small amount of money and for pennies print an idea. It's a very exciting time to be a sculptor. We're spending time with art that offers perspectives outside of our own. It helps us understand the possibilities and choices that are ahead of us as individuals and as a society and different ways that we might work through those challenges. I think that when we think about the role that art has played, it's, it's always been this tool of social dialogue. and. When I think about the way that we navigate through the world today, I often feel like it's art that pulls us back into shared conversations. The most successful art now and throughout history asks us the question, asks you a question and leaves you to answer it. It's always going to be valuable because it's going to continue to be what offers us moments to understand all possible futurities.